Today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the uh, Gillette Skin Guard Razor. It's just got some plastic deals to keep you from pushing too hard into your skin so you can only shave so deep. It's mainly for people who get uh, skin irritation, razor bumps, ingrown hairs, yada yada when they're shaving. Um, it shaves really close. I just don't care for it too much because it leaves too much 5 o'clock shadow. And I'll be comparing it to the Gillette Mach 3, which is one of the favorite razors in the USA. It's called a Mach 3 because you can shave really fast with it. It's got three blades. Uh, it's got an exfoliating bar. I don't know how much those really work. But it does have some space, more space in between the blades than a five blade razor so that you can rinse it off really quick. So I'll shave one half of my face with the uh, skin guard and then the other half with the uh, Mach 3. I always hold my razors under hot water for a while to let them warm up, to open up the pores while I'm shaving, and I also rinse them in hot water. So here we go. You know, let's shave with the grain and then go against the grain. Yeah, I'm kind of done. This razor really just protects you from digging in too deep, so you can push pretty hard. I just don't like it because I still have too much uh, 5 o'clock shadow. So I'm going to switch around and shave with the Gillette Mach 3. So you know how much better it does. Let's get some more water.
All right, I'm all done. The winner is definitely the Gillette Mach 3 just because it's really fast, easy to rinse because of the space between the blades. And, uh, I just don't like the skin guard because of the stubble it leaves behind. It's just, uh, if you want a clean, close, comfortable shave, it's really comfortable, but that's about it. Uh, too much stubble, but I would definitely not use it whatsoever unless you do have some type of skin issue, maybe even mild acne, something along those lines, and you still want to use a razor. If you get too many skin bumps, ingrown hairs, etc., but definitely do not use the skin guard razor unless you have a skin issue.